Hi everyone, it's Anne with your Angel Oracle card reading for the coming week, starting the 9th of August. This reading is for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, and I'm using my Time to Shine deck. So here's your Angel homework for the coming week. Things you can be mindful of so you have a really positive week. So Capricorn, your overall energy here is the card, the five of action. And that reminds you to avoid anyone else's drama, to avoid confrontation or competition. And look here, the angel, she's out in a thunderstorm. Now she can hear it, she can see it, but she isn't worried about it because she's got a Wellingtons. She's got her umbrella and she's walking right past it. She's well prepared. The storm isn't worrying her and she's walking towards the sunshine. She's staying positive and making that positive move. So that's your overall energy this week. Your help or your hurdle. So help here, the Seven of Wisdom card says it's time to make that move forward. Take action with balance and with discipline. So no, no rushing, nothing rash. Look at the angel here. She's chasing after her dreams and her wildest dreams, but she's walking along a balanced beam. And in order to stay on the beam, she has to really concentrate. She's got to be very balanced. And she's got to be very disciplined. And that's what you need to be mindful of this week. So make that move forward. Make those changes. But be mindful of it. Stay balanced while you're doing it. Our guidance card here. How do we start to weave it together? The three of action is about looking at the long term plan, looking at the bigger picture. And here our little angel is contemplating. She's dreaming big dreams and even bigger dreams. She's looking at the bigger picture and she's looking at the long term and she's keeping moving forwards. Moving forwards is on this card and again on this one. Bigger picture, bigger plans, long term plans. How can we help ourselves? Again, we Got a card mentioning plans, and this asks you to move in a new direction and make new plans, taking with you all the life experience and all your wisdom from your older plans. Look at the angel here. She's using the old plan. She's done that. She's been there. She's got all the experience she needs, and she's pouring that into that new way forward, carrying those lessons with her. And that's really important for you this week. Pulling it all together, the Ten of Life card asks you to enjoy some quality family time, some quality time with the people that you love. It's feeling security, peace of mind. Look at the angels. They're just taking time together. Got the little dog with them. We're watching the full moon rising. That quality time out just to relax, to recharge and re-energize. So that's key information for you this week. And our outcome card, the eight of action, is about moving on again. It's a card of movement forward. It's delays are over, lots going on at once. Look at the angel. She's got a beehive saying delays are over and all the bees are taking off, all going in different directions, all busy working. So a positive new energy coming in for you, a change in energy and a positive move forward. So just to summarise for you, avoid anyone else's drama or competition or conflict. Walk past it towards the sunshine. Make your move forward with balance and discipline and focus on those long-term plans. Start working on those dreams and start putting plans into action. Make new plans if you need to using all your experience, all your life experiences, all your wisdom 
And remember to take that time out with those that you love. When you've done all of those things, the Eight of Action card says it's time to get busy. A wonderful, positive new energy coming in. Delays are over. Lots going on at once. And enjoy these positive moves forward. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. Make the bell ring. Then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.